hi everyone long time no see sorry about that I've been busy getting my cosmetology license and getting him registered as a therapy bird he is seven months old his name is Popeye he has a little pee on his flight suit this is a new one but he is going to be a animal of pet partners when he is old enough and whenever we've had him for the extent for the uh, required period of time He's seven months old. He's been with me for five months old. The requirement is that he needs to be one year old and been with us for a year. So that puts our joining date in May. And we are so excited. We are going to, we have been going to um, little events and places like that. And um, we've been to my grandmother's nursing home. We visited with the residents there and it was really fun. He loved it. He's such a good bird for this. And he is... We, he's, he's a good bird in general, let's be real, but, um, and we went to a, what's it called, petting zoo. We were part of an exotic petting zoo uh, for a local school to raise money and get canned, for a canned food drive, really, and he did amazing. He had kids of all ages, they were pulling on him, they were flipping him over, they were just clumsily petting him, and he did great. And that's, I think that's part of the, uh, the testing, the evaluation, a uh, bullet on that. So he did great. So we, have no, we don't have to worry about that. When we went to the nursing home, he did phenomenal. And he was literally just like this, sitting. He knows when it's time to work and he knows when it's time to play. And right now, he thinks it's time for work. So I'm <laughs> going to take advantage of that for a YouTube video. But he is, he's seven months old. He's a golfing cockatoo, and a little thing about cockatoos is that they are the loudest birds in the animal kingdom, and they prove it daily. And he is just, they're the most affectionate birds, but they also, like if you take it, whenever you get a baby cockatoo, when you take it home, you know, it's like a new puppy, you just want to play with it all day. Well, you don't need to do that with cockatoos because they'll expect that every day for the rest of their lives. And if they don't get it, they'll start screaming. And people don't realize that you can't react to the screaming because if you do they'll think of it at that as a reward so they'll scream and then they'll expect rewards which is not good huh baby he is a great bird I love him so much I recommend them to the advanced birds owners like you know how in Petco they have like intermediate beginner this is advanced so yeah it's gonna it's definitely for the advanced handlers, but just because cockatoos are the most rehomed birds in the world, and it's just heartbreaking to see them in rescues and stuff like that. There's mostly cockatoos. Because people see videos of them going, like playing the piano or doing something cute, and they're like, oh, I want that, but they don't do any research. It's like an impulse buy. And that's really bad for these little guys and really bad for them. So definitely do your research. But. Thank you guys so much. We'll make another video soon. Say bye, Popeye. Okay. <laughs>